Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and another video. This set today is a really bright summery set. You're going to love it ladies. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I am really trying with my editing. I'm working my butt off to get it right. I'm zooming in, I'm zooming out, doing all sorts but there was a little bit today that I just, just didn't get. I was so out of shot I just removed it from the video. As you can see there on the middle finger I've already done the nail bed because I wanted to do one of them today but you know things happen and we forget to record or we're not in the right spot and I did put an X on my tissue but it didn't work <laughs> so I think I need to find a new uh, theory and a new way of doing it now anyway on with the set so I've basically done all my prep work everything that my client needs doing ready for an um, acrylic application again like I said I've done the nail bed on the middle finger um, I'm just leaving that to set and I've gone to the little finger now the pink hair and I'm using a beautiful glitter from the glitter fairy I can't remember the name of them I will link them all down below if you want to know about any products that I've used I think I used two glitters from the glitter fairy today and I used CJP's bubble gum and I used what was the other one? Oh, a diamond glitters um one I use, it's absolutely stunning, like an orange. In, oh, it's, oh, it's amazing! Amazing. Now with this yellow, this like fluorescent yellow glitter, it was quite chunky so it's really, really awkward to use. Um, you need to use less is more as they say and I just kept applying little bits of it to where I needed it to get that full coverage on the nail. Now on this one, it is the ring finger. We are just applying a clear base. Because I've put the tips on and blended them, I'm applying a clear base of acrylic. Just because when your client comes back, if they want to redesign and you don't want to have to, you know, start a whole new fresh set, you've got that clear base. So you can file that design that you've done right back down to it. And you're still not going to be touching that natural nail and damaging. So it just adds that protection to your natural nail. then all I've done is I'm going in with my bubble gum this is by CJP it's one that I swatched the other day now honestly ladies this color is amazing if you want bright colorful nails for holidays winter for when it's raining or you just want to cheer yourself up with something bright this is your color to go to it's absolutely oh it's stunning absolutely beautiful um, now all I did was this, applied it at my cuticle, obviously using the back of my brush just to tap that acrylic down to the cuticle area without touching the cuticle and flooding. I've just done, I've not done a full coverage now because I'm adding glitter to the end of it. So I've done it in like a swooshy motion, if you get what I mean. A technical word we all use, a swoosh. So I've just swooshed the bubble gum and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with the glitters that we're using in this set. So I think it was all three that I used. Um, like I said, I will link the name of them down below. I'm so sorry I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head, but they were all really, really nice. <laughs>
So now my pinky one set, I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to cap this nail in crystal glass by CJP. So again ladies, I'm so sorry I went out of shot again so I've just skipped that bit out but as you can see on the index finger I just used a full coverage of the bubble gum, didn't do anything else, didn't add any glitters, it's, you will see it further on in the video but it's just a full nail of bubble gum. Then going on to the thumb, all I used in this was my clear layer of acrylic as you can see me doing, this only needs to be really really thin, it doesn't need to be thick, bulky anything you don't need to add strength here all it is is to give that natural nail a little bit of protection and then all i did was use the glitters that i've used throughout the set and i placed them on the thumb in different angles different varieties of size just to get a bit of like you know a pattern going on on that nail i didn't want to do an ombre i didn't want to do anything too fancy but i just wanted all them glitters on one nail because they were all really nice um, so again I'm just patting them where I want them to be they are really really awkward to use because they're quite chunky you need to work with them quite a lot and try and get them as flat as you can to that nail
So now I've done that, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and cap the fingers that I've already done. Now this glitter's had time to settle and set into the acrylic. Then I'm going to go back to the middle finger. My brain's not working. My middle finger that I did the nail bed on. I'm just going to file around the nail bed just to make that line nice and crisp. We wanted a nice crisp smile line on this. Then all I did is I used the bubble gum. I placed it onto the tip, I pushed it right up into the wings of the nail bed and I applied some more of the glitter just around um, the nail bed area. Gave that a minute or two just to settle. Once that had settled, I went in with my crystal glass and I just capped the end of that nail.
So now we've done all that and our acrylic's nice and set, we're going to go on to our filing technique. It's always the same with me, so it's side walls, side walls, free edge, around the cuticle area and down the barrel of the nail, removing any of that excess bulk that we've created that we want to get rid of. Now, I'm, I'm a stickler for my shapes and my filing, so this is one area that I will take my time on. So if I don't feel like the shape's right, I'll go back and do the side walls again, I'll do the free edge again, and I'll just keep refining that nail until I get to the shape that I'm happy with. So once you're happy with all your filing and your shaping of your nails, I'm just going to go in with my CJP Tack Free Top Gloss and apply that to all 10 nails and cure them for 60 seconds. When I take them out of the lamp, I do give them a minute just to cool before applying any cuticle oil, just to add some hydration and replenish them nails. Also, it's a lovely way to finish off your service with your client. So once that's that guys, that's the finished set. I have left a picture um, at the end of this video of the created set. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press that little bell so you never ever miss an update. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs>